Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans? We are in a town called Clear Lake, Iowa. And we are paying tribute to the day the music died. We are gonna start our day out here at the Surf Ballroom. This is where the last gig uh, of Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper happened uh, before that fatal plane crash in February. Um, so let's go on into the Surf Ballroom and check it out. So here we are at the famous Surf Ballroom in Clear Lake, Iowa. They have a memorial over here for Richie Valens, <laughs> Buddy Holly, and J.P. Richardson, the Big Bopper, in memory of rock and roll legends, and also the pilot, Roger Peterson. The above legends played their last concert at the Surf Ballroom, Clear Lake, Iowa, on February 2nd, 1959. Their earthly life tragically ended in a plane crash 5.2 miles northwest of the Mason City Airport, February 3rd. 1959. Their music lives on. And here's something uh, very historic that happened here on September 16th, 2011. The Surf Ballroom, built in 1948, was placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. Why do you think it is that the Department of the Interior is in charge of everything outside? So as we enter, they do ask you to wear a face mask, stay safe, six feet apart, and thank you for practicing social distancing. So let's go on in to the surf ballroom. Now they are going to have a memorial service for somebody here today between 11 and 12, uh, and they'll be closed for that time, but look at this. So just as we enter, three stars. It's Richie Valens, the Big Bopper, and Mr. Buddy Holly. So here is the original desk when you first entered, and this was a coat check. And it was a dollar, or it's, it is now a dollar a coat. I don't think it was back then. It's probably 25 cents a coat or something like that, or 10 cents. We have the surf, ballroom, and museum. There are few buildings in existence today that represent a complete shift in our musical history as the last concert venue for Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and JP the Big Bopper Richardson. The surf is the bedrock of where the sound and attitude of rock and roll changed forever. And there's, yeah, that's, that was the last gig right there. It was called the Winter Dance Party, the day the music died. So in this part of the museum is a lot of pictures and history of people that performed here. Look at, we got Guy Lombardo, Buddy Rich, Duke Ellington. Wow, Tommy Dorsey, Jan Garber, Woody Herman, holy smokes, Benny Goodman. So many performers. Even Mr. Lawrence Welk, a one and a two and a three. Cab Calloway and Minnie the Moocher. Gene Krupa, one of the best drummers in the world. Les Brown. Wow. Count Basie. Amazing. Look at this big band sound since 1933. Look at all the celebrities and musicians and artists covering this wall. Amazing. No bottles of liquor will be permitted in the surf at any time. The Beach Boys even played here. 
As a matter of fact, they were supposed to play here this year, but because of the COVID-19 situation, that all got canceled. Wow, look at all these signatures. We got Jerry Lee Lewis, Pat Boone, and Bo Diddley, Ricky Nelson, Carl Perkins. Wow, this is awesome. Don McLean, The Day the Music Died. And you know the levee ain't dry and the music didn't die because Buddy Holly lives every time we play rock and roll. So these are items that actually belong to the Big Bopper. Uh, here was this little briefcase and he had a composition book with notes in it and the songs that he was writing. And a necktie and a piece of clothing. Wow. And this is all... This is Buddy Holly, right here. And there, of course, is Richie Valens. And there's the bow tie that he's wearing in that picture, right there. There's his handwritten, handwritten lyrics uh, for when he re-recorded the song La Bamba. <laughs> The gentleman that you see in this picture here, he just passed away recently, but that is the farmer that owned the field where the plane crashed. Uh, and there is the, the headline, Four Killed in Clear Lake Plane Crash, Nationally Known Rock and Rollers, Lake Man Victims. And here they got the bar and the restaurant area. Here are uh, some of uh, some items. This is from J.P. Richardson or the Big Bopper. There's the telephone that he used to use in the skit of Chantilly Lace. There's Buddy Holly's guitar. And Richie Valens and his guitar. Here is the schedule for the 59 Winter Dance Party Tour. They did Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota. Unfortunately, February 2nd. You're all right. Unfortunately, February 2nd is the last stop. And here on the wall, this is even more people that performed here at the surf ballroom. So many stars, B.B. King. Wow, amazing. And right behind this curtain is the famous stage and the actual surf ballroom. Look at this, they had all the, the tables up here and the booths, the bar back there in the back. And then here is the actual dance floor. But there is the stage where they would have performed their last concert. So in here, there's the old phone booths. And right in here, this payphone was used by Buddy Holly to call his wife, Maria, in New York, and by Richie Valens to call his manager, Bob Kane, in Los Angeles on the evening of February 2nd, 1959, to let them know that they were going to jump on a plane and they would be there before the rest of the band. But that is the actual telephone. So they either stood or sat right there and used that, used that payphone. Wow. That's incredible. So we're kind of getting some special access back here. But this here is behind the stage. This is... Look there used to be a clothes line up there, okay. and that's for Buddy Holly. They washed their clothes in these sinks and let them dry because they were traveling. All right, <laughs> excellent. They didn't have washing machines. <laughs> Thank you so much. Anywhere. So, right here in this doorway, this is where the famous coin toss took place. 
right in this doorway between Waylon Jennings and Richie Valens. And Buddy Holly sat right here by this staircase and said, well, sorry, uh, Waylon, but I hope you don't freeze to death in that bus tonight. And Waylon Jennings said, I hope your plane crashes. <laughs> and it haunted him for the rest of his days. He has felt guilty ever since. But look at some of the... Look at Leonard Skinner sticks. Just look at, look at these names. Waterfront. Nighthawks. <laughs> Emerson Drive. <laughs> Even though she's not with us. <laughs> yeah. But isn't that funny? So here's where they would wash, and they would even wash their clothes and things in the sinks, and they used to have a clothesline that went across here, and they would uh, hang their clothes to dry. Look at Santana signature up there on the top, right above Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. Wow. There's the Temptations. The Temptations. Where, oh, yeah, there's the Temptations there. Incredible. So, a lot of history right here. And then, just to let you know, right up here is the stage. Now, it's pretty dark back here because they have a curtain up. But everything on the other side of this curtain is actually new stage. So if you actually wanted to stand where Buddy Holly would, stay, would have stood, that would have been on this stage right here. So I'm going to do it just for the heck of it, just to say I stood on the stage where Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper stood. There's stairs here, there's like steps here. Becky's going to try to illuminate some things here for me but so the the drummers and the guitarists would have stayed here and then the, the main singers would have been on the main stage here so so there is this box right here this is basically where the the main singer would have stood so i am standing in the spot where i'm actually standing in the spot where buddy holly stood for his uh, the last the last concert so look at that these are other people that have come in and signed the but look at this they've got it's brian uh brian wilson and brian wilson there he is right there and then zz top wow and then so cool right So this is what I was talking about. This is the new stage right here. So every, where we were just standing was behind this curtain. That's the original stage. So, um, so all this is new. So, if, but if you want to stand where, where all the, the the main stars stood, Buddy Holly and Richie Valens and all that, you'd have to step behind that curtain right there. And here is a shot from the stage. Just so you can see, they're having a memorial service. The person that used to actually run this place passed away recently. So they're having a big memorial service today for her. And it's, uh, this place is going to be closed from 11 to noon today. All right. And so just a correlation, uh, just so you know, that little waiting room back there, that's where the, that's kind of like the green room where everybody would get ready for their, for their show. And that's the proximity from the stage to there. And then they had that back door that we went up and onto the stage. I am loving the decor in here. This is the original decor. This is actually on wood. And, uh, but there are pineapples uh, behind a fence here for the surf ballroom. I am just in awe of being here today. This is just amazing to me. So, uh, as with any, yeah, we did. With any uh, fine establishment, we have to stop at the gift shop. 
exit through the gift shop as always. And guess what we're going to be purchasing today? T-shirts. That's right, and a magnet. <laughs> so I was told that I have to go into the men's room. I just had to make sure nobody was in here. Um, but this is the famous surf ballroom washroom. We just wanted to show everybody. They had the huge line of urinals in the men's room and uh, the sinks over here. But more impressively, to make sure that you were all spiffy for your dates, they had this line, this, this big long mirror inside here. So after you were all done, you could come out here. And, ah, yes, I look, I look so handsome. And then you could walk back out, but there was an indoor and an outdoor. So it would say, please use other door. And then you would walk right out here and you would be back out into the ballroom again. Fantastic place. And uh, your name is? Yeah, I'm, my name is Jeff Nicholas. Okay. I'm and from Clear Lake, Iowa. I've been involved in the surf for a number of years. I'm the, the volunteer nonprofit uh, president of the board okay. that operates uh, the surf bar. It's actually called the North Iowa Cultural Center and Museum, doing business as the surf bar. Room. Excellent. Um, Excellent. I, I grew up just down the street and have had kind of a long uh, history with the surf. And uh, coincidentally, my family owns the, the farm that where the memorial site is, where the guys Oh, crashed. wow. Okay. And so it's actually quite an honor to be able to uh, facilitate and allow people to, to go out to that spot. It's just a, just a, a simple spot in an Iowa cornfield. Just to, um, just to pay tribute. Yeah, yeah it's a, but, but it's it's a very emotional and a very important uh, spot to, mm -hmm. to a lot of people. Because Don McLean's song, uh, American Pie, mm -hmm. the music didn't die here at the surf. The music didn't die anywhere else. It died at that spot. Right. But it, it, it now lives forever. And that's kind of our, our, one of our strong missions here at the surf is to see that that music, Buddy, Richie, and the Boppers, music lives forever. You know, and it's, it's, it's awesome because you don't have to promote it. Mm -hmm. You just have to present it, cause right? Because it's, it's such such Excellent. good such good music. Yeah. So anyway, and it, you were telling great stories uh, to me just a minute ago about people that met on the ballroom. Well, it's amazing. And... It's it's an amazing uh, facility. It's that one thing that really has tied all of North Iowa together, uh, culturally, emotionally, uh, throughout the years. And I actually was the the on site manager for here for a couple years back in the nineties. And it was, I, it was, it was a, a tremendous amount of fun to be able to have somebody come in and knock at the door. Go ahead, gals, you're fine, totally fine. Okay. Um, uh, and and say, you know, I met my wife here um, mm -hmm. in 1967, and we I had my first kiss in Boots 213. Lots of stuff. <laughs> lots of That's situations awesome. like that. Yeah. And guys will come in and say, you know, I was in World War II, and I was in a in a in a bunker. Uh, somewhere overseas and, and the guy came in and jumped in next to me and he was from Garner and when we left each other that day We said we'll see you at the surf when we get back. Uh, It's that one thing that, that binds all of North Iowa together throughout history all kinds of uh, genres of music all kinds of all different generations and it's you know It obviously is pretty cool bricks the bricks and mortar are pretty cool because it's a it's a South Seas Beach uh, club motif but the big thing is is what's happened here, the music that's happened here, right. and the friendships and the relationships. And the, and the community the, of it all. The yeah. community of, of, of what it represents. That's perfect. Well, and thanks for talking to us. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm sure happy okay. to have you here, and welcome back anytime. Thank you so much. You bet. Good. So this is the gift shop at the Surf. They got women's sizes and men's sizes and children's sizes. I like the 45 disc up there. That one's pretty darn cool. And uh, they got a beautiful shirt right up here. It's like the 50 style. And they got drumsticks. And they got Buddy Holly glasses. But I already got those. <laughs> Just like this. What do we want for the refrigerator, Becky? I'm digging this one right here. Or for the wall, I should say. I like, I like, I like that one. Oh, that's a keychain. That's a keychain. That's a key chain. So I think this is going to yeah. be our magnet for the wall. Grab your hat if you want one. So, Becky, are you getting the 
the disc t-shirt. Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I think I'm going to get one that says the surf, the surf ballroom on it. Vivi's going to get a hat that says the finest bands, the surf, the finest people. Wow, Vivi, that's an awesome looking hat right there. Good, good pick. Good yeah. choice. I like hats. I know you do. I love hats. <laughs> and there it is. We're just across the street. I wanted to get a wide shot of the surf ballroom. What in the heck is this? Hmm. Some sort of ancient relic from the past. Let's see if it works. There is a dial tone. This thing works. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so right on the right on this gravel road here. Got to come way out into the country. It's all gravel roads because the Albans can't go anywhere without going on a gravel road. But there you'll see these big, huge pair of Buddy Holly glasses. And this is where your journey begins and you have to travel a quarter mile one way to get there. So let's go on and walk. Okay, so we're going to walk one quarter mile straight down this fence line. And then as soon as uh, we're done walking, we'll be at the memorial for the uh, for Buddy Holly and Richie Valens and the Big Bopper and uh, and the pilot as well. We can't forget about the pilot. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. so when we were at the surf ballroom, we also bought some Buddy Holly, Buddy Holly glasses. So uh, take off your hat just for a second. There we go. Just like just like that. It was just so dark Sun. under the lid, I just couldn't see uh, your, your glasses there. So, yeah, so we bought some Buddy Holly glasses. How about that? <laughs> so we got some good news. They heard the Albans were coming, and they said they mowed the the, the path today. <laughs> so It does not look like it's been mowed today. It was. Someone a, said it was mowed. Somebody said it was mowed, so maybe it wasn't mowed today. <laughs> we don't know how long but they do keep it mowed, so just so you guys know... Um, that uh, if you are going to come out here, and this is the longest quarter mile in the history of quarter miles. I think it's more like mm -hmm. a full mile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was a nice long walk, but uh, we have made it to our destination, and it was on this exact site where the plane crashed with taking four lives. Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, the Big Bopper, and Roger Peterson, who was the pilot. Uh, so they put up this memorial here. Somebody has left some painted rocks, which is nice. And then they put a memorial over here for Robert or Roger uh, Peterson. Put their biggest hits at the time uh, on the records. So, or is that the name of the album? Delphi was Donna. That was Richie Valens' label. Coral was uh, Buddy Holly's, and that was his big hit at the time. Was Peggy Sue, and Mercury was Chantilly Lace for the Big Bopper. Money. Mm -hmm. Money. Like yeah, you can the... put some donation money in there so people right. can keep the the site clean because. Uh, they actually do mow this entire area up to the spot. So. I don't know what we could have been walking through. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so how did everybody like the surf ballroom and the uh, a lot the of crash history, side? So a lot of history there, yeah. That crash site is not a quarter of a mile, by the way. No. That's a half mile if I ever like, met a half it's mile. It's like 10 miles. It's <laughs> like, in the, maybe in the winter it's half a mile, but in the summer it's a mile. It's 12 miles. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was hot, i tell you. Yeah. Sweat was pouring off my face. It took all every bit of makeup off. I had to wipe everything. But <laughs> thanks to the inventor of uh, antiperspirant. Uh, yes, we all appreciate. Uh, we all appreciate that. And... <laughs> so, um, yeah, a lot of history today. Um, you know, it wasn't all you know happy, happy, but you know, some sad. But we learned. Hopefully, you guys learned a few things today. Uh, and don't forget, we do have a PO box uh, now. Uh, we'd like to hear from you guys. And uh, I'll put that link down uh, below, or the, uh, not address. a link, but the address the down. Address. Thank you. So, as always, if you like what you see, give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys next time on... Where the heck are the elves? All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.